I am going to do a very quick version of my learning CSS through creating art talk. I've got the full version up in a couple different formats online. So if you are interested in this, look at those. And I also have an article about it. I actually have an hour long presentation and then actually a full day one as well. So if you're interested, those are online. But it's really awesome to see this coming together finally putting all this work into this. This is actually my last week in DC. So um, it's really, really awesome to see this coming together before I leave. So there's a bunch of things that you can do with CSS. I think that you think of CSS as this web language that's annoying to deal with, especially the positioning and all of that. You get that classic picture of like Peter Griffith working with the um, blinds hate that. CSS is awesome and super, super powerful, and you can do awesome things with it. So this is a picture of Grace Hopper. It's all CSS with one single div and then just all that CSS on top of it. There's this animated bus, which is also really cool. Really like all of that. And again, only CSS and HTML. Camera, you can make it look 3D. Dogs toucans, et cetera. You can even make Mona Lisa, even though it's really, really um, not high performant, all pixels. OK, so what's, each, uh, what's CSS? So CSS adds style to your website. Pretty much every website that you go to has CSS attached to it, or it's really boring. HTML is what we add CSS to, and it makes up the content of your website. The syntax for CSS looks something like this. You have a selector, which is grabbing something from your HTML code, and then you're adding style to it with properties and that property value. So in this example, we're making some text red. So you can select items from the code using a couple of different selectors. You can select all tags of a certain type using the element selector. You can grab elements by ID, which you do to one element at a time using an ID again. And then classes are used to select groups of elements. Today, to make CSS art, we're going to be using divs, which are HTML elements that have no other special properties to them. They're just groups of elements or something like that. They have no other behavior to them. They're not signifying that there's a paragraph or a header or anything like that. They're just divs. As far as positioning goes, it's how we're going to move things around on our page. So there's absolute positioning, which is how you put something on a page in a certain place. And then it totally ignores the other elements on the page if you're using that absolute positioning. Relative positioning positions elements relative to one another on that page instead. We'll use mostly absolute positioning for CSS art, but you could also use relative. And you can make shapes using CSS. So I'm going to pull up a code pen to show this. But we can make a square by just setting a height, a width, and then a background color. So in this case, it's making a pink square right there. A 200 pixels high, 200 pixels wide, and then it's pink. The circle is made by doing the same thing. The only thing that changes is that we set what's called the border radius, and that makes it round. At the bottom, I used a tool called Clippy to make my square into a triangle instead. And using um, Clippy, or what's called clip paths in CSS, you can make any shape that you want. But those don't work in all browsers, so I'm going to warn you on that. So that's how I made the triangle down there. So the biggest part of CSS art is that it's actually not one piece of artwork. It's taking one big picture and breaking it down into smaller and smaller things. I think that's pretty similar to anything with code, where you're faced with a big problem and you have to break it down into a smaller and smaller problem, and, and then you can solve those individually. So in this case, I built a house, but it's not really a house. 
There's a bunch of circles which make up the clouds. Each cloud is four circles. The house is made up of a roof, which are two shapes. So this is a trapezoid right there, and then that purple one is a triangle behind another triangle. The house is a series of rectangles and triangles there. The tree is a circle as well. And then the base is um, a rectangle. So all of that code is here. And it's all made up of those couple of things that we discussed, the shapes, the positioning, and then adding colors. Where are you slides? So that's pretty much all I had. The slides are up on my Twitter if you want to look at all those demos and play around with them. I also have a bunch of other resources listed on there, but um, Thanks for coming out tonight.